you are like your own messiah. Hello. Hope everybody's doing well. So I'm just jumping on and do another quick little video. And this is about being like your own messiah. Right? And so what is a messiah? It's a savior, right? And so a lot of people who are in religious context believe there's only one, which is, of course, Jesus. However, there's a lot of messiahs and everybody's their own messiah, right? And so taking as a biblical context or religious context, this is something different, right? So don't, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. You're your own messiah based on being a savior, your own savior, because you're the only one can save yourself. Um, there's nobody who can do it for you. You have to learn how to maneuver through life, right? And that's basically what it is. And that's being a messiah to yourself. Um, your evolution, you're evolving towards source on the higher levels of consciousness from where you were in evolution, which was the beginning of time. So the experience is, oh, relates to itself over and over again until you get to there, to that point of being, which is expression of love at all points of being in your existence. So you're raising yourself higher to that higher stream of consciousness and your awareness, right? And so based on that, you get to see different things from where you are in your evolution, and that's looking back. And so by the time you get done doing many, many, many lives, uh, you have all that information, that database, and that information, understanding of where you are and how everything works. Now, if you don't, then you may not understand what I'm talking about, <laughs> but um, that's okay too, right? And it's planting of the seeds, right? So anyway... Um, you are like your own Messiah because you yourself are evolving through the timelines of evolution, which are the different experiences that you're playing out, not just with yourself, but others in the play of role on all these existences, right? And all the timelines. So whether that's your emotions, your mental, physical, spiritual, all the different levels of being that you can never be and never create and never understand or want to experience, um, from, from the absence of to the fullness of, right? And so, of course, the fullness is love, source, and then the absence is of not being. So whatever you're creating, um, you are your own you know, Messiah. You are the one that comes in, creates its life, and experiences it, transforms it, and heals it. Nobody can do it for you. Um, and when we give up our life, letting other people do it for you to negate our lives and tell us what to do, then we're not transforming our lives, right? And so, for instance, if, you know, one of your experiences that you wanted to play out where somebody, you know, abused you or hurt you or um, cheated on you, you know, if you're waiting for them to apologize or <laughs> you're waiting um, for something to happen or you're wishing bad on them and you're holding yourself grudging and, you're actually putting poison within yourself and you're becoming the victim role because you're waiting on them, um, which will never happen until it's ready, right? And so for them to come to their reckoning, their realization uh, of where they are and what they've done and the, the role that they've played, um, because again, when we come into this here, we're in the illusion. We forget who we are and why we came here and the roles that we're playing out, right? And so within the illusion, <laughs> we have these roles in play. And so if we're holding ourselves to them, waiting for them to, oh, I'm sorry, apologize, we're holding ourselves in that contempt, which is suffering. Um, and so we will continue to suffer and we're not able to change it. We're not able to do anything. And it's those are those cords that you have uh, tied to other people that has yet to been resolved, right? And that's why you never just cut cords because you can't. You have to do some work. Uh, you are your own messiah. <laughs> you're the only, you're the creator of your experience and you're the healer and you're the observer. You're the understander. Um, that's why it's all here for us to do it, right? So for the purpose of understanding growth on, on different levels of consciousness, right, and evolution. Because um, why else would you have the experiences if it wasn't for your own evolution, your highest best, right? And so coming forth, we have these experiences all planned out. And so when we're not doing or working along the lines that we're supposed to because we've forgotten and we're in the illusion now uh, for the play, the roles of the play, 
um, we forget that we are our own Messiah. And then we come here to not only have the experience, but to transform the experience and do our own self work, heal ourselves, let go, right? And do our part and let them do their part. Because when they come in to be a part of your agreement to create the situation, we have to heal our own. They get to heal their own. And as long as you do yours, then you can cut the cord, right? Because then once that cord is cut, they can no longer affect you on any level, right? And so, but you have to do your own work. You can't just wait for somebody else to say it or do it or to save you, um, as a lot of religions want to put it, because you don't go through anybody else to save you. You go through yourself. You are your own Messiah. You're, it's the way that's been created, right? The universal self. Um, it's been created on a level where you heal yourself, you do your own self-work, you create the situation. It's called being responsible, adulting, <laughs> um, of your life experience. And when you go to the the, um, the other side, you have a life review, right? And so if Jesus is really your savior, then why would you have a life review, right? There's no saving by another person or anyone else. That's an illusion, right? <laughs> There's no saving. Uh, you can follow Jesus because everything he done was in the name of love. And so to be love, you want to follow somebody who's in the name of love, which is the practice of being love. And so not the practice of somebody being a savior for you, though. So there's an illusion um, that's creating itself in falseness, which keeps you tied into being a victim. Because if you don't do your own self-work and you're always blaming other people outside of yourself, um, you're not in trueness trueness to yourself of who you truly are because you have the ability to change and transform your life and heal yourself from any situation that you create in it and joined in with another being to help bring about the experience in the play and the role right and so you're either being the victim and maybe that's what you came into experience but at some point you got to keep that victim hood away right you got to and then start working on yourself and not stay in that experience um, of being the victim and be like hey I don't need them to apologize, right? And you do your own self-work. Why did I choose to create this experience? Why did I accept uh, them to come into my life and just take a look at it, you know, contemplate it, do some journaling on it, see what it is that you or your soul was meant to get out of the situation and grow from. Um, this experience, the impact it has on your soul and evolution because you can't be somewhere else until you've gone through where you are now so you can be something else later, which is the creation of itself in the moment because you're creating both timelines. And so if you're experiencing now to be the victim and you want to be the hero, that's being created. But you have to work on yourself to get out of the victimhood to be the hero, right? And so nothing's ever against you. Everything is for you. It's in, everything is love, right? Based on your evolution, right? Which is creating the self. And so... Um, we are like our own Messiah, right? And we can never be nothing but the self of who we are, right? The self is related to who you are, right? Not your identity, your being, but self is related to her, who you are. Your self is you being an expression of itself and form, right? The identity um, is, is different, right? That's who you believe yourself to be. Um, outside of the self. Self is the real form of being, which is creating of itself in experience to be a part of the illusion in the form, right? So it's the awareness of itself within its own awareness, creating itself in being. <laughs> so um, with that awareness, um, you know, whatever is in our lifetime, we're not a victim, we're a messiah, right? We're creating the victimhood is part of the experience, but then at some point we want to take the experience and transform it to be our own Messiah and create healing and wellness and abundance, right? So stepping out of that role of victimhood and allowing it to be somebody else's decision when and you can be released from that situation is an illusion. And I'll tell you why, because you may not get out of it <laughs> if you leave it up to somebody else to heal and save you and you're just gonna wait in a victimhood space. You're putting yourself in a holding cell on different timelines and different levels because without that awareness, if you're giving the power over to somebody to be your saver, um, what you're doing is you're not only giving your power away, but you're, you're staying in the same place in evolution. You're not allowing yourself to be something else. But in that creation, you know, that person that you were 
coming together in collaboration to work things out as part of the play and to have the experience, they might not be going to work on that for another couple of lifetimes. And so for you to wait many, many lifetimes, for you to be free of yourself in this lifetime <laughs> from that experience just because you wanted to experience something an expression of itself in its own awareness is creating a timeline beyond itself, right? Which is the awareness of itself being somewhere else that it's not wanting to be and then creating in its evolution in its awareness to where it's wanting to be. So you're going off on a, a long path that you don't really need to. Um, so whenever you have an experience that comes up that is a collaboration between you and agreed upon a partner or friend or situation, um, you, you want to dive in. You want to look at it. You want to take care of it. You want to not forget it and let it go and sweep it under the, the rug, you know. And it doesn't mean to um, react in a way that's going to create more or outlash at them. You turn in and be like, okay. So I'm a part of this. What is my role in it? What is my play? Right? What is my, what am I getting out of this? Right? Because I'm feeding into it too. Because if you're part of the experience, you're you're getting something out of it. Now, whether you're aware of it or not, because we forget when we come in, because we're playing out the role and the illusion. Um, what is our soul wanting to get out of the experience? What is what is the part in the play and the role that we're getting that to experience from the creation of it to have it? Right. And then that's your nuggets. Right. And so that's the expression of it's in its form in the lowest. And then in the highest is the opposite from it. So if it's hate, then you're creating love. Right. If it's creating lack, then it's creating fullness. Right. And so you get to express that when you are healing yourself, looking at it and being your own Messiah, transforming it. Um, then you're able to move into the other expression of it on the timeline. Right. And that's the advancement. Um, of our evolution of the soul, creating from one to the other, if that makes sense. And then the other point of expression that I want to mention is whenever we're coming in to this timeline to have this experience, so say like the Laura form, right? We're not only taking in consideration of our past experiences because they're all there with you that you're bringing in with you, um, what you're wanting to attend to create and have an experience in this lifetime, but then also the parents that you took up in relation to where you are because you had to be a match to them in order to become from them and through them uh, to be in your personhood and form um, in the physical level, right? Um, and so you take from them because you're... Um, Part of their DNA energy is there, right? And then also you're learning from them and the expression as you're growing up in their environment, they're teaching you stuff, which is agreement of what you've chosen prior to coming in. So you have all these bits and pieces coming together to formulate your experience before you even get here and then after you get here and as you're moving through it, right? And so from that, that is going to build what they call your character and your evolution and who you think you are and the belief systems and uh, your experience. But from that, you know, transform it. Um, be your own Messiah. Not only heal what's been the past, but transform into something new, right? So say you're, um, you grew up in your environment, like your parents being addicts or abusive or fighting. You know, we don't just carry on the stuff. We're our own Messiah. We change it, manipulate it. You don't have to continue and pass things on down the timeline. And so you don't necessarily need to repeat it if that's not part of your intention for this lifetime. You may just have been the experiencer uh, of it, of them playing it out. You're being the experience of the role from this point of view um, as the observer, like the child, right? Per se, the mother and the father are constantly fighting. And so what is that doing for you? How is that affecting you? How is that being? So you wanna heal that, right, within yourself, not just pass it down. So passing it down would be you growing up and you playing it out with your partner. <laughs> And then your kids experience, you're just repeating the patterns, right? When we can take our life situation that we came into to have the experience and expression of it, and we can transform it, 
right? Then we're being our, our Messiah, our, our own Messiah, right? We're being the transformation, the transformational being that we came here to be, uh, to experience, to have, and to hold and let go, if that makes sense. So we don't have to, we don't come in to pass it on. Sometimes we come in to have part of the experience, depending on what is meant for us, but it's not meaning to pass it on and to keep recreating it. That's not what that's about. To be a Messiah is to save, to save yourself, to heal yourself, to transform yourself, um, and to allow yourself to experience something else, what you want. And so when you come in from the other side, you have your environment, your, your siblings, your mother, your father, your grandmother, whatever family, friends, from that you're picking and choosing. So you're doing a life review before, you're choosing and tending your life, you come in your envir in the environment, from there, as you're going up in the environment, you're picking and choosing, yes, I want this, no, I don't want that, yes, 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 yes. So you're choosing from different levels of awareness and your own creation of your environment, and then as you grow and evolve, what is gonna be your play, right? If that makes sense. And we're, again, we're not always, depending on what it is for you, um, and that's why a lot of times some people will just repeat the patterns. Um, and sometimes people uh, will be like the, the sheep in the family. They won't turn out like the others. They'll be a whole different way. Um, or somebody will actually be the light worker within the family. Or the one will be the, there's going to be like the light worker in the family. There's going to be the, the repeater of the family. You're going to have somebody that kind of goes between. And it's really based on who we are and what we are intending. That's why there's so much differentiating between the children that you have. It's not all going to be the same. It's all going to have different viewpoints from where you are and who you are. One kid might get more abuse than the other. One kid might be favored more than the other. So it's all different plays and roles that we're creating, right? But when we come in and we are um, having the experience, we don't need to uh, continue the cycles. Right? We can be our own Messiah and change and transform it, if that makes sense. So those are the points that I wanted to kind of make about that. Um, and so if you have any questions, drop those below. If you, I do coaching and channeled sessions uh, within the coaching session. So if you're interested in booking um, you know, an appointment, a coaching session slash channeling, you can reach out to the email below. That's below as well. All right. Happy journeys.